Good afternoon students. Let us discuss about pure theory of public expenditure. Pure theory of public expenditure is presented by Paul Anthony Samuelson, an American economist, the first American who won the Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Science. In 1954, he published his landmark paper, The Pure Theory of Public Expenditure, which formalized the concept of public goods, which he called collective consumption goods. He defined a public good as goods which all enjoy in common in the sense that each individual's consumption of such good leads to no subtraction from any other individual's consumption of that good, that is, goods that are non-rival and non-excludable. Public goods are those which are jointly supplied that are everyone can enjoy the benefits of such goods. No one is excluded from its consumption. A public good is non rival in consumption that is when additional users consume the same good others do not have to reduce their consumption of that good the best example is national defense every indian citizen can enjoy the benefit provided by our national defense he highlighted the market failure of free riding problem. A free rider problem is the burden on the shared resources that is created by its use or overuse by people who are not paying their fair share for it or they are not paying anything at all. Example, over extractors of the forest and other national resources leads to negative externality like resource extinction, pollution, etc. And he wrote, it is in the selfish interest of each person to give false signals to pretend to have less interest in a given collective consumption activity than he really has. His paper showed that no decentralized pricing system can serve to determine optimally these levels of collective consumption. Excludability is the ability of producers to detect and prevent uncompensating consumption of their products. Rivalry is the inability of multiple consumers to consume the same good. A public good is defined as a non-rival, non-excludable good such as national defense. Because public goods are not excludable, they get underproduced. The pricing system cannot force consumers to reveal their demand for purely non-excludable goods and so cannot force producers to meet that demand. The evidence for underproduction of public good is so overwhelming that as Professor Water Block admits about the resulting justification for state intervention, virtually all economists accept this argument. There is not a single mainstream text dealing with the subject which demurred from it. The pure theory of public expenditure is based on the benefit approach and ability approach. The benefit approach has developed by the continental writers like Mazzola, Pantaloni, Wagner, Eric Lindell and the ability approach has developed by continental writers like Pigou, Dalton and Samuelson. The pure theory of public expenditure seeks to analyze the determination of optimum public expenditure and the optimum allocation of available resources on public goods based on benefit and ability approach. The benefit approach deals with the issue of optimum public expenditure on the market principle that is government spending optimally meets subjective wants satisfied by the government. The existence of externalities both positive and negative exposes the failure of the market system therefore to determine accurately the optimum public expenditure. The equilibrium of consumer in case of public goods may be fulfilled by the consumption of equal quantities of the commodity at different prices such that there is equal proportionality between the utility to every individual and the price paid by him.
Eric Lindell attempt to determine simultaneously the optimum amount of public spending and the optimum distribution of tax share on the benefit principle but there is some difficulties in the implementation of benefit principle. Piku Dalton approach emphasized that the public expenditure should be optimally planned. Therefore, to determine simultaneously the optimum expenditure and revenue through the principle of least aggregate sacrifice and the break even point is sought to be established at a point the social benefit derived from an additional amount of taxation required for financing the expenditure but there are some difficulties in the implementation of benefit principle. In laissez fair policy, the role of public expenditure neglected the welfare of the society. But today, change in the nature of the state from a police state to a welfare state, the public expenditure is increasing because of the increasing state activities. Public expenditure has increased because of democratic governments, welfare state initiatives, war and prevention of war, collective satisfaction of wants, increase in the price level, increase in the territory and population, urbanization, nationalization of industries and trade, public debt, increase in national income, defective financial administration, etc. Hence, public expenditure is increasing as a result of increased public goods and other services to the community. These aspects are successfully addressed in the pure theory of public expenditure. Thank you.